it is official. During Sony's State of Play, Legacy of Kane, Soul Raver 1 and 2 Remastered is coming to freaking everything. The Nintendo Switch, both Xboxes, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Steam, and the Epic Game Store on the 10th of December this year. The Switch version will come out at a later date for whatever reason, but let's stay focused, there is a lot of good to discuss and show here. Shout out to Soul Reaver 1983 I know no one is as excited as you, my friend. Please enjoy today's video, mate. I'm going to bring you nothing but pleasure in this video because I'm going to do two things. The first is let you know everything we know about this game. And the second is this is a graphics comparison video as well. I have footage from the original PlayStation 1 Soul Raver game, which I captured from my own review I did a number of years back on this channel. I looked back at the old and compared it head to head with the new and ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, this is actually a much bigger deal than you may have realized. This remaster, I'll say it, it's fantastic and improves on a lot. Also, a quick thank you to everyone helping my croc video blow up so much, almost at 39,000 views. I have never experienced a blow up like that on this channel before. So thank you so much to everyone. Let's do the graphics comparison part first because eye candy is nice to look at and after I'll let you know all the new game features that have been confirmed and yes, they do exist. Let's look at Raziel first. The moment you zoom in and that's why I am here, the improvements are immediately obvious. All the textures have been reworked and improved. New geometry is clearly visible as well. Starting with a look at the scarf, there are actual folds in the geometry now, and the material looks very real. You can see the small bumps and really stands out against the original. Looking further down, the forearm looks completely different now. While in the original it is clearly just a texture wrapped around, the remastered version looks like there is an actual bandage there holding everything together. Every inch has been improved and as the devs have said themselves, yep, I always do extra research for my subscribers, they confirmed some wonderful things on the website. Firstly, Raziel's eyes do actually glow now and the inspiration for the improvements is to finally have our awesome hero look as good as he did with the pre-rendered cutscenes and I have to say, they are pretty darn close to that quality. Now, let's step away from Raziel just for a moment and look at something which is such an improvement it really stands out. Let's have a look at this boss. I don't need to tell you the one on the left is the original and just look at how much better the one on the right is. It's a console generation better, not just slightly better textures. There is so much extra geometry and brand new texture work being done here. Truly makes the monster look a lot more intimidating than the first time I saw him. That face is a face only a mother can love, that is for sure. On to the next point of difference and this one is a big one. Some of you may recall I was upset that in the last Croc video, I noticed shadows had not been added and Croc was still just running around with the dot under him. Well, I noticed while looking over the footage and the website backs me up as well, we now have real time shadows for all enemies and objects in this game. This addition is going to make the world feel so much more grounded. Very excited for real time shadows. That new fact felt good, right? Of course it did. Well, I'm about to hit you with another and I will spread them out randomly throughout this video to spread the happiness. I want you to feel good throughout the whole video. I want to share the passion and excitement. So the next feature, right? Are you the type of person who gets lost in video games and often got lost in the original? I know I did. Introducing a new map and compass to help you keep track of objectives and have a clue which way you were meant to go. I can't stress enough how lost I always get when replaying the first game. 
So this is a lifesaver for people like me. Okay, some more graphics comparisons, and then I'll hit you with another new feature. Can we just appreciate this screenshot together? Seriously, it's just gorgeous. The enemy, having received the same treatment as Raziel and the bosses, have truly come to life. The extra geometry, the texturing, and as confirmed, real-time shadows look great together. The architecture is just beautiful. Look at the glass in the background as well, and the color. You know what you need with all this gorgeous art around you as you play? A modern camera to rotate the camera freely with. That's right. While the D-pad was still the popular option when this launched, we now have full joystick support to take in this amazing game. But wait, there is more. <laughs> I feel like I'm a game show host. I love it when I get the chance to get excited for upcoming games. Let's slap in a camera mode. You heard right. The original did not have such a thing, but you will have it now. I hope it also allows for depth of field because I can only imagine how amazing the pictures will be. Now, if I can have a moment of your time, and I promise this will be quick, my usual reminder that if you feel video games are about escapism, and definitely not activism, please subscribe right now to empower voices like mine. I believe video games are games, and activists have no place here. Thank you for hearing me out, and especially if you just subscribed. Let's get back to the Smexy video where the focus is on gaming where the fun good stuff is. How is this for an awesome quote? Straight from their website. Toggle instantly between original graphics and remastered. That's right, baby. Toggle between the original graphics and modern in real time with no impact on game performance. Meaning, camera work will work with the original graphics as well. And you can even choose to use the original controls as well. This is really respectful, this remaster. You want new controls? Dunzo. You want the old controls? Cool. Keep them. And same goes with graphics. Personally, I'll use the toggle feature to just jump back and forth so I can admire the differences and perv on the Smexy updated visuals. But a toggle option? Brilliant. Camera option? Brilliant. Real-time shadows? Brilliant. This, this video is making me very happy. <laughs> Let's proceed. Why stop here with the good news though? Nah, 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 nah. I'm feeling too pumped and I want you to get hyped as well. Firstly, in case it was not already clear, you are getting both the Legacy of Cain, Soul Reaver 1 and Soul Reaver 2 in this bundle. A frustration subscribers shared with me in the comment section of both my Tombi and my Croc videos were the fact that Tombi 2 would be sold separate from the original and looks like the same thing is happening with Croc. Well, here at least, you're getting both games. And the icing on the cake is it's priced really well. If you pre-order this game, in Australia, it's $40. Or if you're in America, just for comparison's sake, that's $27 USD. And $44 after launch, there is currently a 10% discount for anyone who pre-orders. If I'm talking about price, I must have run out of things to reveal, yeah? Nah, nah, I, I still got things to share, don't you worry. Enjoy your time here, right? What is your rush, mate? Stick around, gamers make great company. So the next confirmed feature, and I quote once again, day and night cycle, a legacy feature that was cut from the final release has been restored to add mood and atmosphere to Nosgoth. A day and night cycle, ladies and gentlemen, that sounds great and it's completely new. I love this was apparently meant for the original and for whatever reason never made it. If you know the reason why it never made it, comment down below. Anyway, now you can look up at the sky to see the sun or night stars. Yep, the website also mentioned that in the original, there was no skybox since you couldn't look up anyway. So they've added one, so that's new as well. I never got to experience the second game. So this will be completely new for me to try out and I'm really excited. I bought the PC version on Steam for Soul Raver 2, but there was something wrong with it. The frame rate was insane. There was something stopping me from being able to play the game. But heck, 
looks like I'll be able to enjoy it now with this remaster. So achievements have been added, by the way, so I'm sure those of you who love that stuff are happy to hear that you have yet another excuse to 100% a game, hunt down all the achievements, hunt down all the trophies, right? Now, the developer Aspire, that's how I'm pronouncing it, uh, if that name sounds familiar, that's because they are the same passionate team that did the Tomb Raider 1, 2, 3 remaster. So once again, Crystal Dynamics are not the ones making the games themselves, and I prefer it that way. Aspire are clearly passionate game developers who try to respect the IPs they are given as much as possible. I'll try to score a review key if I'm lucky, so when this treasure comes out, I can have a review ready on day one. So please subscribe today so you don't miss out on that. Now, if Aspire can be given the Tenchu series to remaster next, that would be amazing. <laughs> With that being said, God bless you all, take care. I enjoyed making this video, and I hope you are excited to re-experience the dark, but cool as F world of Soul Raver. And there is more stuff they have yet to reveal, which they also mention on the website, is that they do have more new things that they have implemented but they want to surprise us. And I'm looking forward to that surprise. All right, God bless. See you all next time. Bye-bye.